hi guys in this video we are going to discuss about the gradient of perpendicular lines and we are going to prove it a property of perpendicular lines which states that if m1 and m2 are the gradients of two perpendicular lines then m1 times m2 is equal to minus one so to to have a better understanding of this property let's first draw a diagram we, we are going to represent it in a diagram in the cartesian coordinate plane so in the cartesian coordinate plane if you have a line let's call this line l1 l1 and another line which will be perpendicular to l1 call it l2 l2 so since they are perpendicular the angle between them is 90 degrees so let the um, let the gradient of L1 be M1, while the gradient of line 2 be M2. So, so I want to show that M1 times M2 is equal to minus 1. But let's call this point that let's call like the angle that L1 makes with the positive x axis theta. So since L1 makes the angle of theta with the positive x axis, therefore M1 is equal to tan theta why is m1 equal to tan theta that's the question here now well the gradient of a the gradient of a line is equal to the tangent of the angle the line makes with the positive x axis that is the tangent of the angle that the line makes with the x axis towards the right so since L1 makes the angle of theta with the positive x axis, therefore M1, the gradient is equal to tan theta. Another way to see that, that we can see that M1 is equal to tan theta is through the formula for gradient. The formula for gradient M is equal to rise over run, all over run. So the rise, if you have, the rise here is what's changing Y. The rise is changing Y. And the run is changing x. So changing y is this point and changing x is here. So this equal to just so changing y is opposite to this angle and changing x is adjacent to this angle. So opposite over adjacent is what tan theta. Tan theta is opposite over adjacent. So that's how we get that m is equal to tan theta. Another way we get that m is equal to tan theta. So let's go ahead with proving the formula. M2 be equal to what? M2 is equal to what? The tangent of what angle? M2 makes an angle of 90 plus theta with the positive x axis. Therefore, M2 is equal to tan the tangent of 90 plus theta. You know that we have heard that tan A is equal to sine A over cosine A. So tan 90 plus this thing, tan 90 plus theta will be equal to what? It will be equal to sine 90 plus theta all over cos 90 plus theta. So sine 90 plus theta, what will this be equal to? Sin 90 plus theta is equal to, with the sine of sum of two angles, we have that sin 90 plus theta is equal to sin 90 cos theta plus sin theta cos 90 all over cos 90 plus theta. If we expand it with the cosine with the sum of two angles, the cosine of sum of two angles, we get that cos 90 plus theta is equal to cos 90 cos theta minus sine 90 sine theta. So what will this equal to what? This will be equal to what? Sine 90 is 1. 1 times cosine theta is equal to cosine theta plus Cosine 90 is 0, so 0 times sine theta is 0. All over 
cos 90 is 0, so 0 times cos theta is 0, minus sin 90 is 1, 1 times sin theta is sin theta. So that we have, so we have that this is equal to what? Cos theta all over minus sin theta. So cos theta all over minus sin theta. This can be written, we written as one all over minus. That is equal to minus. Sorry, minus one all over sin theta. All over cos theta. This could be written as this. So this is equal to what? Minus 1 all over sin theta over cos theta is tan, tan theta. Minus 1 all over sin theta over cos theta equals minus 1 all over tan theta. From what we said earlier, we said that m1 is equal to tan theta. So we are going to substitute it here. We are going to substitute here and when we do we have that this is equal to minus 1 all over m1 since m1 is equal to tan theta so we got that m2 is equal to minus 1 all over m1 what all this implies is that m2 is equal to minus 1 all over m1 from all these our calculations here we, from m2 equals this equals this equals this equals minus 1 all over m1. So we can now say that m2 is equal to minus 1 all over m1. If we times both sides by m1, we now have that m1 times m2 is equal to minus 1. So we can see that the product of the gradient of two perpendicular lines is equal to minus 1. So we have successfully proven this property of perpendicular lines. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you understood this video. And also subscribe to my channel for more math proofs on theorems and properties like this. Thanks and have a nice day.